This is the massive trebuchet we've made. So, myself, Rick and Tom, we've been constructing this in the barn over the last few weeks. It is as big as we can possibly make it. We have left nothing on the table. It only just fits out the door. So, get out of the door, you put it all together, and it is massive. Look at it, compared to a house, it is huge. Well, how did you get it up here, Colin? We just towed it up the road. I mean, yeah, it's as wide as the road, but that's what roads are for, to be taken up. Now then, we're going to give it a test fire, obviously. We've not fired it yet. There's probably going to be a little bit of fettling because how these things work, there's a pin, there's a release mechanism. Might want a little bit of fine tuning, but we'll get on with that. Now, we've made this because Xbox Game Pass for PC have sponsored me to build a huge trebuchet like the one in Age of Empires Divinitive Collection. This is available on Xbox Game Pass for PC, which you can have for a dollar a month. And if you want more, EA Play is also going to be chucked on it for nothing. It's beautiful. There's classics like Halo, Wasteland 3, all sorts more. Click the link in the description. Right. Let's fire some stuff. Now, to fine tune the beast, we're going to be chucking a standard projectile, which is the uh, steel box section filled full of sand. And then once we're happy that it's working how we want it to, then we can start firing all sorts of other weird stuff. He'll bite his time and he'll wait until your defences are down. So as a sling, we've used a tum bag, which we've cut two sides off. Now for a counterweight, we've got this beautiful steel box. Now on its own, the steel box weighs half a ton, but we filled it with gravel and ballast. So it's probably about three ton now, maybe a little bit more. If we're happy, we can always fill it up or we can take some out. It's a beautiful system. So to load it, we have to lift it up with the JCB. Colin, we're on the limit. Oh, not no, again. Not we're on the limit again. It's going to tip over. <laughs> so to lock it in place, hang on there, slide the pin through. Boom. Now to release it, we have to tie the JCB to it. Yeah! Right, that went about 100 metres. Let's fire it again and see if it does the same thing or better. Let's rip the tum bag. So we had two problems, tum bags ripped, come dislodged from that I think. I've not checked the footage back, but I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Right, we do have a second option though. There we are, chain sling. I've taped it shut. <laughs> Just gonna try smacking the pin down so we can get the sling to release a little bit earlier. Some of the nuts have been coming loose. Okay, so the problem we've got with the chain is it's wrapping around the block, it's hugging it, it's getting trapped in the gaps, and it's not releasing it very well. And because it's so inconsistent, we think the pin is releasing the strap at the right point, but we don't really know. And there are some instances where it hasn't released it at all, and it stayed hugged into it, and then come back and actually smack the machine. So with that in mind, we kind of think, well, let's put something bigger in it, like a washing machine, and then it can't wrap around it. No idea if this sling system's gonna work with this. But we can only give it a go, can't we? 
Look, it's unfolded, it's like a flat pack. Drums over here. Don't worry. Really. It's a new day, now I've been thinking. I'm putting the chain to one side because I think the tongue bags are better. Now, we tried lining two inside each other for extra strength, but the blooming thing got tangled up in it again. So, it got back down to one, and then this happened. <laughs> proper beast itself in that that work that did i mean look we've, we've set this wall up this is about 200 250 meters away from it and we're just trying to get it like like perfected before we start shooting at this <laughs> but it's reached it from there need to go back and have a look at the footage see what happened see why that one worked so well and then hopefully do it again it is it has got potential this thing has got power right what am i doing i got my wheelbarrow because i gotta i gotta walk all the way back with that now do you think in medieval times they had to uh walk off with a wheelbarrow and get their ammunition back right so we checked the footage basically the projectile pops through the tongue bag out that hole again where the sand comes out of now we haven't got another one we can't fix it but whatever it did it did it perfectly right because it went ooking miles so the Stamford theory is we'll uh, try throwing something that won't fit through the hole, Colin. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to do another washing machine. Yes! <laughs> Got a bit of cleaning up to do. <laughs> oh, am I going to dry my clothes now? Well, the consistency of the Colin First Trebuchet is uh, up to its usual standards. We've actually tore the sling this time, so we actually fired half of our sling as well. So I think we need to go back to the workshop and actually work on our sling design because clearly that's, that's where our problems lie. But we're kind of thinking before we go, should we just try chucking some stuff where the sling does go with it? That can only be fun. I, I think so too, yeah. E.T., eat your heart out, we have a bicycle. Now the strap's gonna go with it because we've only, we've not got the one on the yellow bit, look. It's just pinned over a bit at the end. So, see what happens. <laughs> oh my bicycle oh no it bent the wheel we enjoyed that what about a patio heater patio heater loaded all upright look ready to keep you warm on a lovely summer's evening and no the trebuchet What? They just don't make things properly these days, do they? They really don't. Oh, hey, oh, the swing old Chucky. Oh, right, and then people. Now, clearly, I've got some sling issues, but as we can see, the potential is in this thing. That mega shot, it must have gone like two or 300 meters into the sky. It was so much better and different to anything else we've been firing. So, if we can just get this sling sorted, we're on to a winner. Now, 
I'm thinking I had this massive strap, which we didn't use because I thought it was a bit too heavy and obviously, you know, strap weight's going to affect things too. But if I can cut bits of that bolt together and sort of make it like a little bit of a sock or a cup, we can throw that block right into our wall. So we've made a wall because, you know, Age of Empires attack castles and walls. We want to mimic that so our wall is ready to be attacked. And then once we've done that, we can get it sorted and then we're going to try and fire some bigger stuff. We've got like a car shell. Can we fire a car shell if we put more gravel in it? Is it going to chuck that thing? Subscribe, you're not going to want to miss that. We're going to attempt it, even if it doesn't work. Even if it smashes the whole thing to pieces. We're going to have a go. Do not forget the sponsor, Xbox Game Plus for PC. They're making all this possible. Age of Empires, the definitive collection. All the old games have all been remastered. 4K graphics, and of course you've got EA Play, which is coming this December for no extra charge. And all the classic games which come with it. It's brilliant. It's just a dollar. Click the link in the description. Support them. Support the channel. It's all good. Yes, subscribe. See you in the next video. Will it smash it up or will it just thunder everything into the sky?